What's going on everybody? So give me a minute, let me get my knife. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video here. Got an update. Been kind of stale on things, a lot of things going on. She's still sitting on jack stands, but we're closer. So I found out some of the things with HRG might be put on hold. So I gotta figure out what to do. Um, the one and a half inch body lift though is here and we're moving on with that. And as you can see, what's that say? HRG engineering. So working with Ben on some things, uh, going to hopefully start uh, early next week. Kids are out of school. I'll be staying home, um, just watching them, them hanging out. So I'm probably going to have some time to work on the car and uh, hopefully going to get this installed or at least figure out what we need so that way anybody else that has this issue and the kit will be updated and complete because there's some things we found out that are uh, going to be much better the way we're doing them. But let's see what he sent me. So everything's in a brown paper bag. So I'm not going to show you that part because it would be pretty boring. All right, so we got new bolts. Not sure which one these are for, they're marked, but I'm assuming um, it's going to be for uh, the uh, torque mounts. It's gonna be a new design torque mount uh, spacer. Boy, this one is definitely wrapped up for a tiny little bolt. Um, one thing, like I said, every time, man, HRG knows how to pack shit. These, these guys make sure your stuff does not come damaged or lost, which is awesome. I appreciate it because I bought some super expensive shit from some high up companies and got it packaged like shit. So the missing bolt for my skid plate laying down right over there, if you can see it by the heater, and one missing bolt out of all of it. So I got that. Let's see here. And again, it's freezing in my garage, so partially why I haven't done a lot of work either. Even with the heater, it still is cold. Gets hot for a little bit and then cold right again. All right, another new bolt, package one. I didn't get any instructions from him here on the longer bolt, so I'm gonna have to give him a call and ask him exactly which ones we're using it for because even though I work on this stuff on a daily, some of the bolts work in the same places, so I want to make sure I have it right and how many we need. All right, got two longer bolts. These are probably for the front subframe, I believe, because I needed about two or four bolts that were longer because two of them worked, I believe. Two or four of them worked. I'll go over that when I'm doing it. I am going to try to make a video here of... Probably just doing one side because I'm not going to make a whole video drawn out for you guys when I can do like the left side of the front and the left side of the rear and that, you know, will show you it's the same thing vice versa on the other side. So, ah, here's what I wanted to show you. This, I'll open it up. This is the new torque mount. So I didn't know this. Ben explained to me that, or it's going to go like this, I believe. Either way, I'll find out when we're putting it on. But either way, um, the torque mount is supposed to be able to design to hit the frame, I guess, um, the way it's it's designed. You have to ask uh, Ben a little bit more on that. He just briefly explained it with me. He was pretty busy that day. I didn't know that. So I didn't know the torque mount was designed to actually tap the frame. Um, I guess maybe the benefits of that, because it, it has the bushing on there, absorbs it. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'd be interested in learning more about from, you know, from him, but yeah, we're going to be trying those. And if that's the go-to what it's supposed to be, those will be included in the new kits and in any of the past kits from what I understand. Don't quote me on that. Cause I don't know exactly how he's going to go over that. Um, but Ben is a great guy and making sure shit is done right. And that his customers are treated right. So you will not be shafted if there's anything we find out that could be improved or better in this kit. That should have been. 
Now, if he makes a full kit that's just way better, you know, and is for preference, then I'm assuming, you know, he's going to charge like a stage two kit or something. Um, some more longer bolts. Got to find out which ones those are two. Now, I did already have some of the spacers he sent me for a test mock-up we did a while back. Um, but I just left the one inch in there because I thought it was in clear with these new springs and everything. And I find I'm still having axle issues. Not as bad, don't get me wrong. But uh, still not where it should be. And we're also finding out with the manual and automatic, there is subtle differences too. Like for one... If you have a manual, at least a 99, my wife's CRV or other CRV is a 2000 automatic. The rear um, motor mount has spacers on a, a manual, on a 99 at least. They have these, these about half inch spacer and it bumps the mount up a little bit where the automatic doesn't have that. Also, we found out some of the bolts are a little different in the front. But I'm not quite sure if maybe I possibly had someone else put wrong bolts in at one time. So we're not 100% positive on that. Yet. Get back to you guys on that. Alright, so you can see one and a half inch spacers. One and a half inch spacers for the bigger bolts. New torque mount bolt or torque uh, spacers. And like I said, I have four already, so I'm not going to bring up those other four for you. But this is basically what you'd get in a kit with a welcoming card, you know, and a war I think a warranty card and a thank you card. And a st few stickers possibly, some more bolts. So probably for the few longer. I also think he's sending me some bolts to drop down the, um, to drop down the, uh, skid plate because the skid plate bar does not fit with the tota style header no matter what you heard checked it out uh another guy i believe uh joshua wolf i believe uh, i have to get his name for sure great guy he's on instagram and facebook um he's got a badass crv uh you'll definitely like it um rear disc brake conversion um Wilson struts um number of good parts on his car or on his crv so he's a fun guy to follow too. Good dude. Um, he had to modify his to fit too. So I'm trying to get um, bend the measurements, everything he needs, so that way you could select. Yeah, I have a Tota style header, 1320 Tota style header. No, I don't. You know what I mean? So you have everything that you need. Uh, some more spacers. I believe those are for like the drive shaft. Give me some freezing down here. All right, and more spacers for the other side. So, looks like that's everything. I think I'm gonna have to ask him for some new decals because I think we're gonna lift my wife's CRV back up and do it uh, desert tan. And I think I'm gonna put my Jeep bumper that I have sitting in that corner over there. Probably can't see it's right next to the engine hoist. And I have over fenders that I've had sitting around forever. Um, I think we're going to put those on there. I'm kind of having a hard time chopping this one up and cutting it because it's in such good shape. Uh, being a 99, you don't find a manual anymore, that, and I'm the second owner. So it's kind of hard for me to chop those fenders, cut things up, and do already what I've done. So after we get this lift, uh, I think I'm gonna do all I can to make sure everything clears so you don't have to do any chopping of the body um, That will be optional um, Hopefully we'll get that six inch kit uh, Figured out soon that I think sort of money's gonna be at and where that thing is gonna sit awesome and have no more problems uh, Once that's all done But as far as my wife's uh, I think we're gonna go desert tan jack it back up different set of wheels and tires uh, Jeep bumper on the front, probably Jeep bumper on the rear. Uh, it's going to be pretty badass. The uh, only thing is it'll be automatic, so it's going to have a little bit less balls when you're out there driving. Um, 
but it'll be good. I might end up boosting both of them, to be honest with you. I've been really thinking about a cheap turbo kit, just eight pounds of boost. I think it'd be fun. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about uh, keeping this one clean body with the lift and then doing my, my wife's the uh, desert tan. I thought about priming it desert tan. Uh, not an expensive paint job, just for fun and uh, keeping it touched up and uh, uh, lifting that one crazy too and just making it look mean as hell. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment. I'm kind of interested because uh, I've also went back and forth with kind of thinking about possibly lowering that, making that the lowered one for fun, and then my wife's the lifted one. Because um, she doesn't want to drive manual. That way she can drive the automatic too and have some fun with it. Um, and I can't teach her on this one because it's stage three clutch, so I'm trying to find something a little bit easier. Once I get the prelude running, I think I'm going to try to teach her on the drive manual on that. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to hear from you guys in the comments on that. Um, this is basically the unboxing video of the one and a half inch um, HRG kit. Uh, just a few spacers missing in here because I got them in the in my um, little tool cubby thing over there next to the toolbox, um, tool shelf, I guess you'd say. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, I'll also put this up on Instagram and. Uh, like I said, yeah, I'm interested to hear some of the stuff from you guys, too, on uh, the future I might go with with these two uh, CRVs. So I hope everybody has a good day. Out.